Okay, so working through our phases of linear speed, we started with our acquisition, we acquired the movement pattern, we learned it extremely detailed, Katie moved us into that enhancement phase, we enhanced the pattern, made the pattern better, challenged it in a lot of different ways. The final step, and I think the ultimate step, is application. So taking these movement patterns that we refined and applying them to the game of basketball. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our transition OD sprints. Again, this is gonna be very specific um, to our transition games here at Maryland, right? Depending what your situation is, what you're trying to do strategically as a coach, you can manipulate these drills accordingly uh, to, to emphasize some of the nuances of what you wanna accomplish on the court. Um, the women, our break, we get out wide, everybody runs wide, and we try to get to the block. We call it that West Virginia style break. On the men's side, we will have someone run the rim. Okay, so we're gonna kind of simulate that. S subtle differences between um, the linear application that we use for the men and the linear application that we use for the women. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we'll have the athletes set up. The women will start on the block, again, because they'll be running the wings wide. Mommy will be starting underneath the rim because he's running the pipe or rim running. Um, on the go, we're gonna have them tap up. Girls are running wide, as wide as we can. We're gonna get one foot out of bounds. They're trying to get to the, the block to finish. We have one foot in the paint above the block, okay? Mom and he's gonna get out hard, call for the ball on a rim run at half court, decelerate under the rim. On the second go, They'll go up, they'll simulate a finish, okay? We scored in our, our transition game. Right when they hit the ground, I want them tra to transition back into our transition D, okay? So we're getting out hard, getting out hard linearly. Girls will be running the lane line. Mommy will be running the rim. We'll decel, turn out, and then we'll fan out into our transition D strategies. Okay, so we'll go ahead, we'll get in our stance, emphasizing our one, two, three, putting it all together in a very relevant, relevant drill um, for, for the things we're trying to accomplish here at Maryland. Ready, go! One, two, three. Good, getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out. Sit. Ready, go! Finish. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Good, sit low. And release, very good, guys. Okay, so for rep two, rep two, we're looking at the, the same approach. Girls getting out wide, trying to get to that block as fast as we can. Momity, you know, not a big, but we'll simulate a big. He's going to be running the rim, okay? Again, getting out very specific um, to how we put together our transition game here at Maryland. Ready, go! One, two, three. Getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out. Good, sit low. Ready, go! Finish! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Good, sit low. And release, nice job, guys. Okay, next, next progression. Next progression, we're gonna take away that decelerative emphasis on the opposite side. Okay, so getting a little bit more specific. We're getting out in our transition game. We ran hard, we beat our opponents on the first three steps. Ball gets kicked ahead, we score, they get it out quick. We're trying to get back as fast as possible uh, into our transition defense. Here we go, sit it down, ready, go! Go on, go on, get wide, get wide, get wide, get wide, finish. Go on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Good, sit low, sit low, sit low. And release, nice job. Very good, guys. So we're able to emphasize a lot of the technique, the technical aspects of what we're going to be doing on the court into our conditioning, again, or into our speed development. Again, this, cater this to your athletes, cater this to what they're going to have to do on the court. So, so really, really integrate, really apply, study your playbook, um, because I believe this is a great outlet for you to reinforce and, um, and integrate some of those patterns into our speed development.